Okay, so let's see if you know enough math to solve this word problem, which is the following. A 30 centimeter long stick is cut into two pieces that are in a one to four ratio. What is the length of each piece? Okay, so this is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, now, before I show you the answer, let's take one more look at the question. So a 30 centimeter long stick is cut into two pieces. Now, these uh, two pieces are in a one to four ratio. So the question is, what is the length of each one of these pieces? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following. So the small piece is six centimeters and the larger piece is 24 centimeters. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A plus. You're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, what's going on here? I don't even know what a ratio is. Well, we are talking about something called ratios, right? So this word right here, and if you don't know what a ratio is, well, clearly you can't solve this problem. But uh, ratio problems are everywhere in math, and you have to understand not only what a ratio is, but uh, what a proportion is as well. Okay, so let me go ahead and fully explain the solution to this problem. This is, all, uh, this is not that difficult, but uh, if you didn't get the right answer, well, you definitely want to pay attention because uh, these types of problems are everywhere in math. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started right now. So here is our uh, stick. The stick is 30 centimeters. And of course, we're going to break this thing into two parts, uh, a small part and a large part. But the, uh, the parts are going to be, these two respective parts, are going to be at a 1 to 4 ratio. Now, let's just talk about what that means. So 1 to 4, this little colon right there, that means the word 2 in mathematics. right? So we have the word 2 here, 1 to 4. But really, a ratio is effectively a fraction. So another way to express 1 to 4 is 1 to 4. So the fraction bar in and of itself is the word 2. Okay, so that's this is 1 to 4. This is also 1 to 4. And we are talking about a ratio. So when you study ratios, you're likely uh, studying something called rates and proportions. I don't want to go off on too much of a tangent, but again, uh, these topics kind of all come into play and they're all uh, effectively kind of interrelated, right? So uh, ratios and rates are fractions and proportions are two equal fractions. If you're studying this and you need extra help with this, I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel on rates, ratios, and proportions. As a matter of fact, I have a good amount, but uh, I would steer you towards like my Algebra 1 uh, program or Algebra 2 uh, if you really need to know this stuff. But uh, rates, ratios, and, and proportions, problems like this even show up a lot in geometry okay so it's not just algebra um, again you got to know this stuff all right let's continue on okay so here if um, I have the small this small side what we really want to interpret what one to four means is that for every one of this whatever length this is this longer part is going to be four times this shorter part that's what this one to four means so here's a small part the larger part will be four times the small part. So if this is X or one X in length, this is going to be four times this length. So that would be four X. So we're going to use algebra to solve this particular problem. Okay, so the, here we have the small length. Here we have the longer length. We know the total length though is 30. So we can write ourselves a lovely algebraic equation. So we have X, this length here, plus four X is equal to the total length of this stick, which is 30 uh, centimeters. So we can go ahead and solve this basic equation. So x plus 4x is 5x. 5x is equal to 30. How do we solve for x? Well, I simply divide both sides of the equation by 5. I get x is equal to 6. Okay, so what does that mean, though? Well, let's go back to our figure. So remember, this was x, or 1x, and this is 4x. So if x is equal to 6, well, x here 
uh, i.e. x is equal to 6. So this length here is 6 centimeters. Don't forget your units of measure. So if you, if you write down just 6, remember this is, we're looking for the actual lengths. So we do have units of measure. So put that little uh, centimeters in. That is important. Okay, so if this is 6, uh, this longer length is going to be 4 times the smaller length. Again, we know what x is. It's 4. So I mean, uh, or excuse me, 6. So this is going to be 4 times 6 or 24. So that's how we get the longer length. Now, let's just go ahead and uh, think about this. Does this make sense? Well, 6 plus 24, this total length, in fact, does uh, equal 30. So it definitely makes sense there. But let's uh, double check that 6 and 24, that these two lengths are, in fact, at a 1 to 4 ratio. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so this is how we can check this. All right, so if uh, 6 and 24 are at a 1 to 4 ratio, we can set up a quick proportion just to see if this is, in fact, true. Okay, so 1 to 4, again, we can write it like this, it's a fraction. Is that equal to 6 to 24? Okay, this is what uh, it means for uh, you to have a proportion. You have two equal fractions, i.e., is 6 to 24 at a 1 to 4 ratio. Well, an easy way to do this, again, is to set up a proportion, which is two equal fractions. So we could just look here and see, oh, I can reduce the fraction 6 over 24 to 1 to 4. So this is true. Okay, hopefully you said, oh, yeah, no, this is true. But we can also use this idea of the cross product, which, again, is covered when you study proportions. And that means that when you multiply across, if you have a valid proportion, i.e., uh, two equal rates, ratios, or fractions, that the cross product is true. So here we have 4 times 6. Is that equal to 1 times 24? Well, of course, 4 times 6 is 24, and 1 times 24 is 24. So that, in fact, is true. So again, that just tells us that our answer, 6 and 24, those uh, lengths are at a 1 to 4 ratio. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.